I never thought that I'd see the day where Kong rode Godzilla's back into battle. We've been seeing so many TV spots that give us a good example of what to expect in Godzilla x Kong The New Empire. And while many people don't love the new tone of the MonsterVerse, I'm completely fine with it. I get that it's not serious and grounded or whatever, but to be honest, I love being able to turn off my brain sometimes and just enjoy some dumb fun. And it's not like we can't go back to having serious tones in the future whenever we get some different directors, but be completely honest. We're able to see Kong ride Godzilla's back into battle. This is some shit that a fan would come up with and we would never see on the actual screen, but we actually get to see this shit because Adam Wingard is a fan. And brother, let me tell you, I am super excited for this movie. Like I am, I am on the edge of my seat, but at the same time, I'm super depressed because I feel like after we see this movie and after I see it, after all of us see it, we're gonna have to wait like three to four years for another legendary product. Like I feel like there's too much time in between the MonsterVerse movies. And actually that's not a bad thing because it's a good thing that they're taking their time with these movies and making sure they get everything done right. That's honestly what differentiates this between the MCU and other things. They don't shit out projects every like two seconds they actually take their time with each movie and honestly i can never get enough of godzilla and kong this is something that i can literally watch for the rest of my life anyway let's talk about that last tv spot after kong rides godzilla's back into battle they have to be friends after this right there's no way that they're not friends after letting something like this happen this is officially godzilla and kong's bonding moment moving on in the trailer we also get to see kong and scar king fight a little bit more and this time it looks like scar king gets the upper hand it's really showing the experience gap in between how good scar king is at fighting and how good kong is at fighting like we even get the a short segment of Kong literally flying through the fucking air and I'm not sure if Scar King produced this much energy but I highly doubt it. I feel like he got hit by Shimo or something and I honestly cannot wait to see Godzilla in action in this movie. He is being a complete badass and I know he's gonna fuck some people up. There's another shot of Kong on the ground and Gia saying that Kong is hurt. I'm guessing this is after he fights Scar King or fights some Titan down in Hollow Earth. Whatever it is it looks like it gave Kong a run for his money because he is tired as fuck right here. And this is something we have to talk about. I feel like this dropkick is literally the most lethal melee weapon that we have seen in the MonsterVerse by Kong. And of course by melee, I mean like his actual hands or his feet, like no tools involved. This man knocked Scar King a couple of blocks away. Like in order to see how far he went away, you would need to take a fucking plane. Like I keep saying, bruh, I'm expecting to send this apology letter to Adam Wingard because damn, he is really giving Kong some serious respect in this movie. Anyway, how do you guys feel about this TV spot? Do you think they're giving too many TV spots out? Because that's what a lot of people are saying and I understand if you think so. As much as I do love seeing more about this movie, I do feel like like we are seeing a bit too much myself. I feel like we can basically map out every single fight from what we've seen in these trailers. And this is kind of the exact same thing they did with Godzilla vs. Kong. They released like a shit ton of TV spots that showed basically the whole fight between Godzilla and Kong in the first round. Also, don't forget, if you are a fan of mine, if you want to be a friend with me on a personal level, go ahead and follow my Instagram because I love talking to you guys on there. You guys are fucking amazing. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys. Tell me what you guys thought about this video down below. See you guys later.